revelation, your offering, your seed. Any message, any word that is released for you, it must be sealed by your sacrifice. So, whatever money you came here with, you, you leave it on the altar. Have we agreed? Have we agreed? I'm teaching you how to receive. Because if my grace has not worked for you, then tonight something must work for you. Number four, you're shouting amen. If you don't shout amen, you're shouting amen like me. Uh, uh, we are friends. You will not receive. Your amen must come out from the depth of your heart. Are you listening? Yeah. There will be things that will be released. There will be things that will be released. It's up to you whether to take them or to behave like a commoner. Number five, expectation. What are you expecting God to do for you? What are you expecting God to do for you? Are you here just by mistake? What is your expectation tonight? What is your expectation tonight? If you want God to do for you something, then you must be a very crazy. Hey, shout amen. Amen. Uh, you. Shout amen. 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 You must be crazy. You must be crazy. In your shouting amen, in your behavior. Then, your expectation must be coupled with faith. Let me tell you. Let me tell you something. If you don't have expectation, it's better you go home. Go in your duvet. You know it's very cold, eh? Go in your duvet. Because it's punishment, couple of punishment. If you don't have expectation, I repeat again, expectation is the mother of manifestation. Tell me about expectation. Expectation is the mother, is the mother of, manifestation. of manifestation. God will manifest himself in a mighty way. Amen. Those who are there, feel those chairs. Feel those chairs there. Feel those chairs. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. Instruction. Number six. Instruction. Lift your hands. I did not tell you don't lift your hands. I said lift your hands. It's the instruction of everybody. Lift your hands. Say Father. Father. In the name of Jesus. In this conference. In this conference. I will receive. I will receive. My miracle. My miracle. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Lord, Lord, give me the heart. Give me the heart. To connect. To connect. To the heart. To the heart. Of the servant of the Lord. Of the servant of the Lord. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Pow. Number seven. Your excitement. Not excitement. Excitement. Tell me about excitement. Me, I don't say excitement. Me, I say excitement. excitement. Tell me about excitement. excitement. Your excitement is needed. Your first expression. That's the reason the Bible says Jesus did not perform many miracles because the people, they were full of unbelief. In another, they did not have joy in their hearts. You can either cause us to speak to you or not to speak to you. Do you want us to speak to you? Yes. Hey, do you want us to speak to you? Oh, yes. yes. Then, you must be joyful. You must be what? Joyful. You must be what? Joyful. The Bible said joy doeth good like a medicine. Doeth good like a medicine. Look at a person who does not laugh. Look at the wrinkles. He'll always be bitter. He'll be like, he, even if when he laughs, it's like he has eaten lemons. There are people who don't laugh. Turn about laugh. Turn about you must laugh. 
people don't laugh. They're always serious. Mrs. Serious and Mr. Serious. Joy. You need to have joy. And when servants are coming, let me tell you, every prophet carries grace. Carries grace. We carry unusual grace, uncommon grace. And whenever you receive a prophet, you shall receive a prophet's reward. Amen. Power. If I was in football right now, if I was in football now and I've scored, oh. Pow. you would have seen. Some of them, they would have hugged the women of other men. Because it's not football, you can't celebrate. Now, I've told you, keys. Number eight, worship. Worship. You came to a place of worship. Not a place of junk. This place must make you to be afraid. If you don't know. This place must make you to be afraid spiritually. Because you have seen how God has been moving this place. You have, you have been seeing how God has been moving in this place. Setting people free. Turning poor men to become billionaires. Those that are sick, being healed. Those that have been barren, conceiving. Amen. This place must make you to be afraid. Amen. Don't look at it just as a normal place. It must be something prophetic. Have you heard me? The last. Don't move about. On the plane, people, they hold themselves for six hours without going to the loo. Six solid hours. Without any miracle. But for you to sit 25 minutes, you'll be on your phone, WhatsApp, Twitter, Facebook. Listen, you must understand in this conference, the enemy is not happy that you came. And he will do anything to make you busy. Even that boyfriend of yours who left you, he will call you. Just in this service. And he will tell you, say, ah, you know I love you. It's not the boyfriend. It's a devil in the form of a boyfriend. I know here it is. Why didn't he call all this time? But now you're about to receive something. That's when devils, it's like they've got a detective machine. They're able to detect that your miracle is about to be released. So they keep you busy. Switch off your phone. I don't want to hear any phone. I don't want to hear what? Any phone. Please, you protocol. If I hear any phone, give it to me. I will sell it. I'll have it as my what? My chicken. Hallelujah. Rise up on your feet. I want you to be ready. I want us to worship God. We will do much of worship. We will do much of worship. We will do much of worship. Lift your hands wherever you are. Lift your hands. Lift your hands. You are awesome in this place. Jesus. Lift your hands. Take God. You are awesome in this place. Abba Father. Place. You are awesome in this place. Lift 
lift your hands, pray, 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 pray. You are awesome in this place. Expectation determines your collection. If you are expectant today and you're excited to be in the house today, I want you to pray like never before. Because to every suffering, there is an end to it. There is no suffering that is permanent. And today's expectation determines what you are going to carry home. Open your Bibles, the book of John, chapter number 5. Let's read verse verse 5. The Bible says and one day was the, there was who had been ill for 38 years. Verse 6 says when Jesus saw him and knew that he had been lying there a long time, he said to him do you want to be made whole or do you want to be healed? Verse 7 says the sick man answered, sir I have no man to put me into the pool when the water is troubled and well, I am, while I'm about to go into the water or step in somebody goes in before me and Jesus said to him verse 8 rise up take your mat and walk clap your hands for Jesus if you can I want to tell you something today before we pray there was this man who was sick for 38 years beside the poor of Bethsaida the expectation of this man was to be healed even when the atmosphere was teared up for a miracle the man was still expectant even some, when somebody jumped into the water, even when somebody jumped into the water, when the water was stirred up, he was still expectant. He was waiting for his appointed time to come. I believe today we have got people who are waiting for the right time for God to bless them, for God to heal them, for God to change their life. Despite their situation, despite the problem, despite what you are passing through, there is still a time for you in the book of Ecclesiastic 3, the Bible says, for this, there is time for what? For everything. I want somebody who is saying, Lord, this is my day, this is my night, this is my conference. I will not leave this place until you touch me. I will not leave this place until you bless me. As you are touching somebody next to me, may you touch me also. 
as you are healing somebody next to me, may you heal me also. As you are blessing somebody next to me, may you bless me also. I want you to pray a prayer of expectation. That Father, as you are moving in this place, as you are changing somebody's life today, remember me, O oh God. Change my life, Jehovah. The same way you touch this man, may you touch me also. Lift up your hands and your voice. Begin to pray a prayer of expectation. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Open your mouth and begin to pray. As God is touching somebody, may he touch you also. Father, open your mouth. Open your mouth and pray. I know you are Holy Ghost Embassy. You can clap your hands as you are praying. You can lift up your voice as you are praying. You can lift up your hands as you are praying. Open your mouth and pray. Father, as you are blessing somebody today, don't pass me by. As you are healing somebody today, don't pass me by. As you are touching somebody's life, as you are changing somebody's destiny, Father, this is the day that you have made for me. For this time, for everything. In this conference call, I will not go out the same. Open your mouth and pray the prayer. 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 If you can speak in tongues, speak in tongues. My expectation will not fail me today. My expectation will not fail me today. My expectation will not fail me today. Touch me, O God. Lift me, Jehovah. Fill me, O Lord. Bless me. Open your mouth and pray. You can do better than that. Let the heavens hear your voice. Let the heavens respond to your words. Open your mouth and pray. 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 Shako toko. Open your mother pray. Let God not pass you back. 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 In Jesus' name, we are praying. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Can I hear a better amen? amen. Yeah, if you're Holy Ghost Embassy, a better amen. amen. Listen to me. The Bible says, and Jesus said to him, take up your mat and walk. Listen to me. The man responded according to the word he was given. Are you getting me here? The man responded according to the word. He was what? Told. Jesus said, take up your mat and walk. We've got great men in the house. One of them is our father. And he's got a word for you. I want you to pray that, Lord, every word your servant is going to release today, I receive it in my spirit. May it work for me. Every word your servants are going to release in my business, Father, I receive it with faith. May it work for me in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth if you are the one that is expected for a word today and begin to pray that prayer. Open your mouth if you are expected for that word and begin to pray. Open your mouth and pray. 
open your mouth and pray. Every word of God, it shall work for me. In my business, it shall work for me. In my family, it shall work for me. At my working place, it shall work for me. Open your mouth and pray. Pray, 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 pray. Pray, 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 pray. In la bodo, igala gaya gala gado, se pradiya so pradiya, asko pradiya lebunda, ala pradiya lebunda, in la balabaya, le bodo prantana, in la lolosa, in la lolosa, ayada asuse in la bro, in lo sabara chaga, shalo prokosizo, open your mouth and pray. Let the way not pass you by. 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 Let the way that carries power. The way that carries action. The way that carries supernatural increase. Not pass you by today. The entrance of thy word makes rich. The entrance of thy word bringeth understanding. Bring a transformation in your life. You're the name of in Jesus' name, we are prayed. In Jesus' name, we are prayed. Verse 9 says, And at once the man was healed, and he took up his mat and walked. In the book of Isaiah, the Bible says, For the word of God does not return to God void until it accomplishes that which God has sent it for. That's when it goes back unto him. I want you to pray, Father, as the word is coming, may it water my business. May it bring life in my life. May it bring life in my family. Some of us, we are struggling right now, even in marriages. But there is a word that is going to bring a transformation today. There is a word that is going to bring a change today. Are we together here? Open your mouth and pray for the word. May the word bring life in your life. May the word bring life in your business. May the word bring life in your marriage. Open your mouth and pray in the name of Jesus Christ, Son of the living God. Open your mouth and pray. If you are Holy Ghost Embassy, you know how we pray in Holy Ghost Embassy. You can clap your hands in prayer. You can shout. marato. restore you, establish you and strengthen you. Did you hear that? Lift up your hands somebody and I want you to pray with me. Say Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus in this conference restore my life establish my business and strengthen my faith in this conference restore my life establish my business and strengthen my faith in the name of Jesus open your mouth and pray that prayer as God is going to restore you, as God is going to establish you and strengthen your life. In la zuzu, falia azusa marato, ibalado shata. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. May God bring restoration in your life. Your business. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Wave your hands towards heaven. Wave your hands towards heaven. Thank you, Jesus. We thank you for your glory in this house. Father, we know that you are the same yesterday, today, and forever. And the same God, the Bible says, that with him all things are possible. Tonight, the same God is in this place. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are continuing to pray, but I want you to realize something. You see, when we communicate with God, our communication with God is called prayer. But there was a time I was saying 
to a particular group of people that whenever you are talking to God alone and you are not sensitive enough to receive answers from God, that is not prayer, but that is a monologue. Because when you are talking to God, you are not praying, sending prayers to Him without expecting any answer from Him. You understand what I'm talking about tonight? Now, look unto me. Tonight, I want to, when you pray, pray like never before and tell the Father that enough is enough. You, let, let me show you something. When you came to this conference, I believe you came because you want God to transform your life. If you came here because you want to attend, you came to the wrong place. Because the kind of a God that we save, if he meets somebody who is blind, he gives sight to that person. You want to say what I'm talking about? Now, tonight when you pray, tell the person next to you, when you pray tonight, there is one thing that I want you to have, that God is able to answer your prayers. Tell them, that is why when you pray, don't talk to God alone. But expect him to say something back to you. Now, tell your next door neighbor that when you are talking to God, that is called prayer. But when God talks to you, that is not prayer. That is the injection of life. Now ask them, what is it that is dead in your life? The God who distributes life he is here tonight. Glory to God. Now I'm reading something. I'm reading something. Ephesians chapter 1 verse 15. Paul here says, after I heard of your faith, in the Lord Jesus and love unto all the saints cease not to give thanks for you making mention of you in my prayers that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ the Father of glory may give unto you or may give unto you the spirit of wisdom the spirit of revelation in the knowledge of him Hallelujah. He says, I pray that the God of our Lord Jesus, the Father of glory, may give unto you the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him. Now, this is the prayer point. The eyes of your understanding being enlightened. You understand what I'm talking about? That means when you attend in this conference, unless the Father of glory opens up your understanding, you are going to enter this place, try and go back the same way. Do you understand what I'm talking about? That means I want you to ask God that Father tonight, I want you to give me the spirit of wisdom and revelation. And you tell him that I want the eyes of my understanding to be enlightened. Now, when God opens your understanding, when you are seated there, when the man of God will be preaching the word, if that mind is opened by the Spirit of God, you will begin to see where you are supposed to be financially while you are still seated in this place. Are you ready? Now, when we are praying, I want everybody to close their eyes. The reason that you need to close your eyes, it is because we don't want you to be disturbed. Let me teach you something. You are in the prophetic ministry. When you are praying, begin to imagine about that card that you want. I'm telling you the truth. That is where the secret is. As you are speaking in tongues, begin to imagine about that house that you want. And as you are praying, know in your heart 
that God is able to give me all the desires of my heart. Are you ready to pray? Amen. Come on, are you ready to pray? Amen. Lift your hands towards heaven and begin to speak in tongues. Begin to speak in tongues. Don't be afraid. This program was made for you. Speak in boldness. Whether you are a choir member, you are an usher, you are an apostle, you are a pastor, this is the time for you to pray. Rasala harusko pahande kila haruska. Le supa ara kila hanzo po la ruska pa ande kila hatos pa ande kila hare le soma ande kila haruska ba la sonda kila parale rakuru pa ya tase la ko haya la kaya la ponda sala kila basaya le soma ande kila haruska ma ne le kura para kila hatos ka ma ande kila basaya la se la kura la tu pa ande kila hare. Le soma hande kila paya la koto poroko sande kila bara uo saya ay 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 eh la karuso haya malesun ta hande kila harane le kura bahando saya mali palia 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 eh ya katosa pande kila ba le suparu komande kila basaya le ho pande kila hasaya la koroma Hande kila paruko saya, le tu pra hande kila baya, malito palito sala kila, maya malakara hande kila haron solo pra hande kila haya, le kuro pra haro kuro mahande, le sekere mondo sate kila baya, rekoto paya, le tu skapaya, liko para kila basaya, masende kila ha, le kuro pra hande kila kuro mahande kila basaya, le so pra haro kuro ma. Le kura mahande, ay 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 ay. Le kopa ya ya ya, eh. Maliko pa ya la kila saya, le koto saya. Maliko pra, la tusko pa hande kila barane. Reso mahande kila basaya. Lito pa ya, lito pa ya, lito pa ya. Kaya, 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 kaya. Lito sa hande kila ba. Le soma hande kila ha, lito pa haro kura mande kila basai, le hera mohondo ta kila basai. In the name of Jesus, Hallelujah. Now I hear the Spirit of God telling me that you need to press in in the realms of the Spirit. Hallelujah. Don't be too tight. Tell your next door neighbor that don't be too tight. Tell them that the flight that we are taking tonight, it is about to take off. Now tell them, allow me to prepare myself. If you need to move or you need to shake your body, don't be too tight. Hello? When you are praying like a trunk person, that is when you are receiving revelations. So long as you are behaving like a CEO, you will never become a CEO. Lift your hands towards heaven. Le supra hatus. Maluta palakila hatos, lekeya. Malita salakila haro, la sande kila haros kamaya. Ela kaya ya ya, ya 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 ya. Lekura paleli ase, mande kila hatos, lekura paya de kila haros ya. Maya ya 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 ya, lekora mahande, lekora mahande. Fire, 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 fire,
you are behaving like a religious person. Amen. Some of you, you were supposed to become a millionaire by this time. But you are trying, but there's just a resistance in the realms of the spirit. And if you've heard enough, tonight you can make your voice to be heard in heaven. <laughs> Glory to God. Now take out your bank cards and as we are praying, that banker that is supposed to give you your money, begin to mention their name as you are speaking in tongues. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. If you don't have a bank card, you are in the wrong place. Glory to God. Amen. Lift it up and begin to pray right now. Begin to pray. Don't be shy. Begin to pray. Leso praharakira sende kila harus. Malito paharakira sei. Lesu paharus mahei. Leso mahande kila harus ka mahande kila basaya. Latusa parika dos mande. Hela kila harunza la kila bande. Le superaki, le selehero mande kila basaya, maya ya 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 ya, le ko pale, la superu kama ande kila basaya, ya 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 ya, la kara kila se, maleko para kila basaya, le superu kama ande kila basaya, le so mahara kila basaya, le ko rapa ande kila basaya. La tosa la para kila masai, le roko mahonda sande kila basaya. Ma ya 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 ya. Hey, la kura mahonda kila basaya, le tosa la para kila basaya, ma le tosa la kila basaya. La kura mahonda, le tosa la hari, la kura mahonda se, le tosa la kila mahari, le so mahonda kila basaya. Hallelujah. The Bible says in Isaiah, God says that I'll pour water upon he that is thirsty. I don't know you understand this. Tonight it is all about your hunger. Amen. How far do you want to reach in your business? How far do you want to reach in life? How much of God do you want to access tonight? Amen. It is all about your hunger. 
Glory to God. Now, I want you to pray that, Father, may you give me the ability to be able to be hungry for more of you. Amen. Am I talking to the relevant group of people tonight? Amen. Are you tired of praying? Lift your hands towards heaven and begin to pray. Speak in tongues. Speak in tongues like never before. Don't be afraid. Don't be shy. This is the night that you've been waiting for. Don't be afraid. Sahara Kurumus. Raka para kere guru mahanti. Rakura pai. Le suta parika da konsara kira basi. Le so mahande kila pa. Raka ba 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 ba. Le koro honsa. La tuska paruska mahande kila basi. Ela kara mahande. La kura mahande se le kopra ano soro bohonga. Le kera mahande kila ba. Ya 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 ya. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Now the God that jumps protocol is here tonight. Amen. Now I want to teach you a principle. We've got the woman of God right now in the house. <laughs> Let me tell you. There was a time Jesus was walking. As he was walking, there was a number of people around him. Now the Bible says among those people that were with him, there was a woman who had said to herself that I will never let him pass by without dealing with my situation. And she was not even among those that were close to the person of Jesus Christ. But because of the decision that you know, she had taken in her heart, she said to herself that I may not even be able to talk to Jesus Christ. But one touch is enough. Amen. And tonight, let me give you a principle as an apostle of God. I'm telling you the truth. Tonight, I want you to access whatever that the Spirit of God has deposited in His servants. And I can show you what will be the sign that you are ready. We're going to start it with the woman of God. I want you to celebrate the anointing like you have never in your life. Ha. Pow! Pow! Hallelujah. Just hold on. Just hold on. Your shout, it is the one that is going to give you access to the anointing. When you meet anybody that is called a woman or a man of God, the reason why we call them women or men of God, it is because they come from a place that is called God. And they carry something inside of them. Amen. That is why when you meet with them, you must have the consciousness of extracting something out oh. of them. Now, I want you to celebrate the woman of God like never before. Shout to the house. Come on, come on. Hallelujah. Amen. Celebrate the anointing. Celebrate the anointing. Don't be too tired. Hallelujah. Now, before I step down, before I step down, you are still playing. You are still tell the person next to you what, what is happening with you. Ask them, are you born again? Are you afraid of them? Ask them, are oh, you speaking in tongues right now? Ask them, why are you behaving like a religious person like this? 
Now, ask them the last question. Do you have a voice in you? Do they have a voice? Did you ask them? Or they don't have voices? Ask them, do you have a voice in you? Say you. Now, I want you to take that voice and shout for the anointing that is here. Until I stop, don't stop. Celebrate the anointing. Come on, make noise like never before. Celebrate the anointing. Come on, somebody, this is the night that you are waiting for. Whenever you see the anointing entering into the sanctuary of God, you must carry, listen, listen, you must carry a seat in your hand. When you see the men of God coming into a place, go and sow in the altar. Amen. Are you ready? Yes. Are you ready? Yes. Come now. Take out money. Come. 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 Tell the person you are rich. You are not empty. Hallelujah. All right. Ask them, where is money now? Where is the money? Ask them, where is the money? You are a rich person. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And this is the principle that as Holy Ghost Embassy, I don't want you to forget. Whenever you see the man of God coming into the sanctuary of God, always sow into that anointing. That is not an offer. When you see him coming in, go to the altar and put a, a seat in, on that altar. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. Glory to God. Glory to God. I'm feeling the anointing so strong. I'm telling you the truth. I'm feeling the anointing so strong. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Come on, keep sowing, keep sowing. Don't be afraid. Glory to God. Now, as I'm about to hand the mic over, I want you to access the anointing by your celebration. Hallelujah. The one who will shout more than all these people that are here, that Bentley that you've been looking for, Oh. Uh -huh. you will be able to tap into the realms of the spirit and pull it in natural Amen. let me tell you something apostles and prophets are pullers in the realms of the spirit oh. I've always said this that whenever you allow an apostle and a prophet to come together that is the moment where Satan that has been troubling you take an immediate resignation in your life. Amen. Because he knows what is that. It's a nuclear in the realms of the spirit. Amen. Wow. Hallelujah. Now, say now. Now. Are you ready? Oh yes. Are you ready? Oh yes. I'm going to count into three. When I count the number three, that completes the totality of the Godhead of God. I want you to shout like never before. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. And as you are shouting, tell yourself that I will never come to this program and still remain the same way. Amen. You want to understand what I'm talking about? Oh, yes. If you were a broke person, when you shout, oh. say, Father, when I come out, I will come out a multi-millionaire. Amen. Are you ready? Oh, yes. Now, one. Be ready. Tell oh. your next door neighbor, be ready. Oh, be ready. Say one. One. 
Ask them, are you ready to celebrate? Are you ready to celebrate? Now tell them we are changing the gear. Say two. Two! When I say three, this will be the completion of your miracle. I'm telling you the truth. Because in the realms of the spirit, whenever you mention the number three, that is the completion of the Godhead of God. Are you ready? Two and a half, are you ready to celebrate the anointing? Number three, I want you to shout like never before. Come on, shout and don't be afraid. Celebrate the anointing tonight. you are just thank him wherever you are just celebrate jesus just celebrate jesus christ if you can yes. let's celebrate him let's celebrate the lord of lords the king of kings the only one who is worthy to receive all the praises all the glory and honor let's celebrate him tonight if you are there just celebrate him if you can let's celebrate the king of kings somebody help me to celebrate this jesus let's celebrate him somebody Say 